Hello children, welcome once again to Sunday School and uh, I hope you're well. Yes, I am well and uh, it's good to uh, come to church to worship the Lord even though it's on the Zoom or video rather. <coughs> Yes, uh, we'll go right into the sharing now. The last few lessons we have been studying the actions of Samuel, Saul and David in meeting the wishes of the Israelites to have a king. God granted them their wish against his better judgment and advice. Samuel, under the direction of God, anointed Saul as the first king. He became king and didn't have God's blessing, but it was the result of not wanting God as their king in the first place. In Samuel 16, we saw that the Lord <coughs> allowed Samuel, or rather asked Samuel, that he should not mourn for Saul as he has rejected him as king over Israel. So God told him to fill his horn with oil and go to the house of Jesse at Bethlehem as uh, he has chosen one of Jesse's sons as to be the king. So God affirmed David the youngest son of uh, Jesse to be king. We see in 1 Samuel 16 verse 14 the spirit of the Lord left Saul and he was tormented. Samuel sought the help Samuel sought the help Saul the relief of his depression. One servant recommended David to be the man to help uh, Saul. We saw that Saul and David struck up a great liking for each other. And uh, David was favored by Saul. And everything went well until in 1 Samuel 18, verses 1 to 30, which we are dealing with the text this morning. This text showed that Saul's jealousy of David had led to a strained relationship. In verse 5, we saw that whatever Saul sent him to do, David did it successfully. The Saul gave him a high ranking in the army as a reward. And the problem started in verse 6 when the men were returning home after David had killed the Philistines, the women came out from all the towns of Israel to meet King Saul, singing and dancing, playing the harps and all the musical instruments saying, Saul has slain his thousands. But David is tens of thousands. In verse 8, we saw that Saul became angry and became jealous because the women recognized David as being the most successful uh, soldier. In verse 10, we saw the evil spirit came on Saul and in one of the uh, time when they were having the food, he threw a spear at David. David ducked his head and it missed him. In verse 12, Saul was a we saw that Saul was afraid of David. And uh, in the following verses 12 to 15, through David's com campaigns, 
it on the field of his battle, he grew in stature. In verses 17 to 28, Saul offered David marriage to his daughter Merab. David refused to have Merab and then Saul uh, offered Michelle, the other daughter, to him. And uh, and they, I think they got married in the end. In verse 29, Saul became more afraid and remained his enemy for the rest of his days. In verse 30, we saw David met more success than Saul's officers, and David became more famous than Saul's army officers. And uh, this is the outcome of uh, of the uh, David and Paul's uh, relationship. And because David became more famous and successful, Saul grew jealous of him and became his enemy. So that's the end of the text that I've just shared. So what do what lessons do we really learn here? This is a story of Saul, his anointing and his decline as uh, as the king, because he was not the chosen one by God. We then see the rise of David as king because he is the chosen one of God. We also see David's popularity increases because he has the blessing of God. So you can see the title of today's sharing, Saul and David became enemies, is very clear. Saul was not the favorite one as David was. Both were successful leaders in the beginning. We also learned that both were sinners in their kingship, Saul never repented, but David realized his sinful past and seek God in the end and was blessed in his role over David. Children, you see that every week uh, we see the short stories that we share gives you parts of the whole story of Saul and David as the kings of Israel and how They came apart because of jealousy. The destiny of both kings was a result of their relationship with God as the king. So that's the lesson we learn, children, that uh, if we are not favored by God, we cannot be a successful uh, person. Whether you, we are a king or a servant, of God. So thank you children for listening to this uh, uh, sharing and uh, I hope that you all continue uh, keeping healthy, reading the Bible, getting your mothers or fathers who are listening to this uh, sermon to explain to you uh, this story uh, in a more uh, clear manner. So I hope, children, that uh, we will uh, meet again in the near future when the virus uh, pandemic is under control. So let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this Sunday school where the children have to hear the sharing through this video. And Lord, uh, we thank you for keeping us all healthy and still keeping in touch with each other through this video, video sharing and also praying to you that you will continue to look after us uh, through this uh, pandemic and keep us safe and 
God willing, we will meet again in the church in a more uh, pleasant environment fiscally. So in Jesus' name we pray for this sharing. Amen.